You know, right now, tens of thousands of U.S. troops are serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Most of them say it's hard being away from home during Thanksgiving, but at the same time, they consider it an honor to be serving our country. So how are they spending this special holiday? We're here specialist Rayona Moore of the 1165th Military Police Company, Alabama, in our own words. Specialist Rayana Moore is a long way from home, but that doesn't mean her family isn't close by. I think about them every day. Um, their prayers and thoughts are always with me. I can feel when they are thinking about me. A graduate of Robertsdale High School, home of the Bears, this 21-year-old soldier is now stationed at Camp Eggers in Afghanistan and bearing the weight of an important mission. It's a pretty big thrill, you know. I'm, I'm glad to, to be following in it. My mother, my father's footsteps, you know, they defended our country and have been deployed to different places. And uh, my father, he was actually deployed during Operation Iraqi Freedom. And now that I'm deployed in Operation Enduring Freedom here in Afghanistan, it's it's amazing. Moore works with Afghan National Police, mentoring them to improve security in Kabul. She says being a woman in the military has its challenges, especially in a culture where women aren't typically treated as equals. They are surprised, a lot of them, to see a female soldier, especially of my stature, to, to work as proficiently as I do with um, my male counterparts. The proficiency is a must. See, part of Moore's other duties include precious vehicle checkpoints. She serves as her team's dismount or scout, providing security not only for her team, but working to identify threat indicators for Afghans. We're talking any kind of threat that would detonate a vehicle containing insurgents or hauling contraband. It's not an easy task. Faith is what keeps her going. Just to know that what I do could possibly change history for my, my children or my, my grandchildren not to have to fight in this war to help combat te terrorism now instead of having to wait till later until things get worse. So it, that's what keeps me going, keeps me motivated to know that I, I could possibly be helping to change history right now. Being part of something so big, knowing that she's making a difference, is what Moore says she's most thankful for this year. But it is Thanksgiving, and while troops overseas will be served a traditional meal with all the fixings. I'm going to miss my auntie's potato salad and my grandmother's sweet potato pie. To all my family back home, I just want you to know that I love you and I think about you every day. Um, just continue to keep me lifted up in prayer, and I should be home to see you all soon. The U.S. plans to withdraw the remaining troops from Iraq by the end of the year. Moore is just one of the troops you spoke with, by the way, from the 1165th Military Police Company. We're going to have other stories from the front lines later in the week.